What's going on my dudes, Wanstep here with the character design tier list for the roster of Street Fighter 6. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. All right, let me say that there are a lot of characters here that we could compare to their first and original designs and so on. But we, I mean, even though we might do that, we're gonna go off like the design they got for Street Fighter 6 and how good the design actually is. I'm not gonna lie to you, top of my head, I don't really think there's any D tier characters. They're all pretty solid, but I do believe there are some that are better than others. As you guys can see, we have S, A, B, C, D, S tier just being the best design ever, D tier being absolute trash. First off here, we have Ryu. I don't think you can go wrong with Ryu. I mean, just look at this design of a character. I mean, it's really not that bad. And it's pretty dang close to what we've always gotten with Ryu. I like the kind of cape drape they gave him, the older look in the beard. Honestly, I'm gonna put it at A tier because they just upgraded it. Not quite S, but it's just, you know, just a little bit above mid, you know what I'm saying? Luke definitely got an upgrade from SF5. Luke, his design is actually pretty dang solid. He's more of a fuck boy in Street Fighter 6 than he ever has before. But, but regardless, the design itself is pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna put up an A as well. It's not quite S, but it's a little bit above mid. Now, here we go with Chun-Li. It's hard to really mess up Chun-Li. I mean, honestly, she's always been great. She's always been, you know, as we know, Chun-Li with the blue design, the thick thighs, the kicks, love to see it. And this design is not terrible in my opinion. I think it could have been better, but again, how much do you change a character before it's like too much of a change and then it starts to be like, you know, a downgrade in a way? I. I I don't know. I, I think this design for Chun-Li is not terrible, not great. I'm going to put it B. B. You know, it's pretty mid. It's all right. I'm not mad. I'm not super great. Like, it's, it's all right. Jamie's design is actually really cool, and here's why. When Jamie gets stepdad level drunk and you have the hair draping, the red flush face, like, the design as a whole for a character isn't terrible. I like how it brings his roots into his design, and I really like that his look changes depending on his drink level. It doesn't super impress me, but I do like it. I don't think it's A. I'm going to put it in B as well it's not terrible not great either i mean it's good it's just not you know phenomenal or anything like that i mean guile's always been guile it's kind of just been the army the flat top haircut and guile's just guile you can't really like super duper change him up either without going too crazy same kind of concept for you know ryu and so on but but again i think they just upgraded it enough to the point where it's actually a pretty good design i do like the upgrades they gave luke and ryu a bit better i'm gonna put guile also in b i think it's, i mean we're probably gonna have a lot of b's here like that are all pretty mid pretty good design kimberly as a new character is really cool and i love her design i'm gonna automatically put it in a i'm not even a kimberly main i just love the way they did it with kimberly and honestly jury is probably gonna be our first s here i don't know why the way they did jury some in the comments being like oh no it's actually yuri i don't care jury i love the design for her in street fighter 6 i think it's awesome the color palettes they gave her for her costume and her alternate costume is also really sick just love it dalsim is such an interesting kind of character for a fighting game like this it's hard to make him seem basic i think honestly trying to be objective as possible He's really cool. His design is awesome. His ability set is super cool. Basically going Mr. Fantastic on you with yoga flame and all. Oh my, it's so sick. Street Fighter likes to say, hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And E Honda fits in that category with Guile, Ryu, and others. If it's not broke, don't fix it. The design is pretty basic. They kind of did the same thing as they did with Ryu, where they gave him more of a drape and a new and upgraded look. The design itself is awesome. I actually really like E Honda's new look in Street Fighter 6. To give you a kind of a comparison, here's this picture right here comparing the two kind of different designs they've gone with him. I think it's A, man. He's really good. Ken got more of a brand new look, give or take, compared to all the other original Street Fighter characters. 2 6. And man, is it good. I, I really like like Ken's like new, you know, aesthetic, his new look. He's always been kind of the clone of Ryu. And so it's kind of been like, he lives in Ryu's shadow where I feel like in Street Fighter 6, he's very different, especially when it comes to the design. And I love Ken's design. I'm going to go with S, man. He is, is so good. Already, I feel like Blanca kind of just belongs in the B tier. That's why his name is B for Blanca. It just, it's just good. It's not terrible. How much do you change it up? I love the color palettes they gave for his alternate colors. It looks super cool, but the design, as a whole character is just, it's a good design. I like it. Man, honestly, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't had any C or Ds lately. They're, they're, they're all just pretty good designs so far. I can't think of anybody that's like super gross or super terrible. You know what I'm saying? Some people consider DJ's new 
look compared to his past self is kind of a downgrade. I think it's good. I think it's fine. I think it's so good that I'm gonna put it up at A, man. It's just a really good upgrade they gave to DJ and his whole aesthetic. And I, I just love it, man. I love it. One step, why do you love every freaking character? I don't know, man. They're all just pretty dang good. I'm a Manon main, so I'm gonna try to judge this as objectively as possible. And I honestly just think it's great. I really do. The idea of a dancer, a ballet dancer, what she wears, the French, the metal level. So that way she has the metal on her neck. I love that throwback, the reference there for her moveset. I think it belongs in the A tier, man. It's not quite mid, it's not quite S. I, th I don't know what, it, what they could do to make it S. I mean, it, it, I mean, oh gosh, it might be, man. It's, it's like between S and A. It's really damn good. I'm gonna keep it at A but it's probably gonna be one of the better A's. I'm gonna put it in the higher A's for sure. A new character like Marissa, man, I freaking love it. Mommy, Dommy, Marissa, oh my, what what a design, what a take on a new character, and man, they freaking nailed it. I love her style, I love her look, I love that her hair, you know, kind of resembles a helmet that she would wear. I, I love Marissa, man, she is so freaking cool, and honestly, I'm gonna say the same thing for JP. JP is, dude, oh my gosh, it is so sick. If you wanna talk about drip, then look no further than JP the pimp himself. Dude, are you kidding me? JP aged like fine wine. He is jacked. He's got the dope cane. He's got the dope hat, he's got the scarf, the, the coat, all of it, man. It's so sick. I'm putting JP a high S, man. He, he's so freaking good, dude. All right, now Cammy is a bit more controversial than I would like her to be for Street Fighter 6 because everyone is like, no, no, man. You gotta keep her original costume. Like, let's go ahead and be real first. The new design they gave Cammy for Street Fighter 6 in her primary costume is awesome. Like, it's a really cool design. You can't really argue that. I, I mean, honestly, the colors they gave her, the design, all of it's mwah. But everyone who likes this costume only likes it because of this freaking picture problem. Everyone in the comments that says, no, no, the alternate costume for Cammy is better. You only like it better because her freaking is hanging out and you can't fathom that any other design would be better than just having her ass cheeks on the screen i think the design is solid i, I really do i don't think it's quite a i think it's a really decent you know mid good that's good design i think it's awesome i think it's good i think lily for some reason i just don't like the way they did Lily. i mean it's not terrible i think her i think she's gonna be our very first c character i don't hate on lily i like her she's fun she's cool as a character as a design it's not quite my favorite i don't know i you were asking me, yo, one step, what would you do to make, you know, Lily a better design? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. For some reason, I just don't vibe with it. It's not that I hate her. I just, I just don't think she's like more. She's, she's a B or A design. I think she belongs in the C range. It's hard to mess up Zangief, man. I think honestly, all around, they just kept Zangief as Zangief. He's gonna be up here with the B characters, you know, with Chun Li, with Guile. They kind of just kept them. They upgraded him a little bit and just kept him as who he's always been. And I like that. They didn't go anything crazy which is good I, I think it's totally fine i think it's a good design rashid's new design honestly s tier man it's it's so good it, it is a very good design the direction they went for Rashid compared to SF5. Like this design is just so cool. And then of course the character's moves that, you know, the wind, freaking being the avatar of Street Fighter VI, creating tornadoes and everything, but also wanting to stream it all with the camera on screen. I think it's awesome, dude. It's so funny to see how this turned out because we have an even playing field. We have six here, six here, six on B, and then unfortunately Lily down in C. You know what, I kind of called it in the very beginning. I said, I don't think there's any D tier design characters. And I, I was right going through this i really don't think there's any like terrible designed characters in street fighter 6 i think there are some that are better than others as we can see here with lily being the bottom as well unfortunately in my opinion but with that being said guys let me know down below who is your main in street fighter 6 and where did they end up on this design tier list what do you agree with what do you disagree with let me know down below subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time